some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Baltimore, Maryland with a Sovtard, well, who apparently thinks he knows his rights, but you know what? He doesn't know Jack Squat. But at any rate, we're already 20 minutes into the traffic stop by the time he turns his camera on to document everything. His sovereign citizen license plate has already been confiscated, and, uh, well, they're just waiting for a tow truck, apparently. In addition to that, he refuses to get out of the car, and he continues to spout off all the usual sovtard BS during the whole 20-minute video. But I am not going to show you the whole 20 minute video considering that most of it is just dead air or him cussing at the camera when the carps aren't around. So anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Phone started to overheat so I had to let it rest for a minute. So um, they still got me stopped. It's, it's been like 28 minutes now. The Maryland limit is 25 so these are doing a lot. I gave them Supreme Court case law. I gave him the passport. A couple of I gave him the UCC one also. A couple other things. So yeah, all the usual soft hard nonsense that never really works anyway, and I don't understand why you guys keep on using it considering that all these videos you see, it never works anyway, especially when you bring out the uniform commercial code, which has nothing to do with traffic laws whatsoever. It is a regulation on how businesses treat each other, and if you would actually sit down and read it, you would you would quickly find that out but no you just got to uh spout off the uh same old rhetoric that other people use because you think it sounds good two thousand years later we gotta exit the car we're towing it i mean no, i don't consent oh wait that's fine that you don't consent but there's no airbag and the vehicle's not insured so you're gonna have to step out of the car so we can tow it Okay, now that just continues to increase the stupidity considering that the uh, vehicle is not insured and you don't seem to have an issue with that. Well, how about everybody else that's driving on the road that is insured and if you run into them and cause property damage or worse, then you are held liable for that. And yes, dude, the Maryland Penal Code does have statutes for uninsured motorists because you know what they're trying to cover all their bases because you know what the tenth amendment and all that this is this is against my rights man That's i don't you're gonna have to step out of the car right now i'm not gonna ask you again i don't consent man y'all going ready to steal my property i'm traveling i'm not hurting anybody i haven't yes, caused any issue you can take it to the sheriff you can take it to the marshal but i am lawfully ordering you to exit the vehicle. This is an unlawful order this because I'm exercising order, my right to travel. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. You do have the right to travel, dumbass. They're not trying to take that away from you. What is going on here is when you get behind the wheel of a vehicle, you have certain duties and obligations that you've got to abide by, such as being insured, so that way... Uh, well, if anything happens, you're covered, and everybody else is covered. But seeing as how you sovereign citizens don't want to bear the responsibility of anything, uh, yeah, that becomes a problem. Because driving is not only a privilege, but there's responsibilities to it as well. Which is why you've got to be registered, licensed, and insured when you're behind the wheel of a vehicle because of the heavy responsibilities involved. Ask you again. I have three other troopers here with me. You're gonna exit the vehicle right now. I like to exercise my Fourth Amendment right. That's fine. You can exercise it outside the vehicle. I like to exercise it right here. No, sir, you're gonna exit the vehicle right now. I'm not gonna ask again. I like to exercise my Fourth Amendment right, sir. I haven't hurt anybody. I like to continue traveling. That's fine. Your Fourth Amendment right covers unreasonable searches and seizures of your property. And in this case, it's not unreasonable for them to tow your vehicle, considering that you violated multiple of Maryland's laws, especially driving without any plates and no insurance. 
And it doesn't matter if you haven't hurt anybody yet. What matters is, is that you're driving on the road without any insurance. And if you do hurt somebody, you have become a liability. So therefore, Softard, you are a hazard. Well, you're going to exit the vehicle now. I don't consent. I like to continue you traveling. Consent. You cannot consent. Well, this will be consent. slavery because I'm not consenting with you. I don't want a contract. I'm not a slave. I'm a free American. That's I'm fine. a private American. After I do not cons... Listen to me. We have two ways we can do this. You can exit the vehicle peacefully. We're going to tow the car off the highway. It's uninsured. You can get it back and you can drive it another day. I don't no, want to drive listen, at all. I want to travel. Me. Listen to me. The other option is I take you to jail today. I guarantee you will end up in BCDC. You'll be put before a judge and that will take up your entire day or more. If you no, were going to arrest me, me you would have to, to take me to see a magistrate first as per the Constitution. Okay, sir. We can do that too. I do the magistrate, the judge, the commissioner, whatever you want. I don't consent to that at all. I'm not hurting anybody. I haven't so broken any constitutional law. And that is where you went wrong in the way you were thinking, considering you did not bother to read the Constitution at all, did you? Because if you had actually read it like you had read the UCC, which you didn't read the UCC, you would understand that the U.S. Constitution has the Tenth Amendment, which grants states the right to create laws that are not covered within the Constitution. And there are a lot of things that are not covered in the Constitution. So therefore, the states have taken up the responsibility per the Tenth Amendment to create those laws that are not covered within the Constitution. So get that through your thick skull, you moron. Be free to go after this. I would like to continue traveling. That's what I would like to do. I don't consent to any unlawful stop, search, or seizures. That's fine. Yeah. And Article now, again, 4 of the Maryland Constitution says that the I police are subordinates to the people. To the uh, no. Uh, Article 4 of the Maryland Constitution has to do with the judicial branch of the Maryland government. So, no. You once again have failed to read anything, you damn soft-tarred moron. So from this point on, why don't you go back to the kitty table and start munching on those crayons because that seems to be what you're best at right now anyway, considering that you haven't taken the time to read any of the adult stuff yet. I would like to continue traveling, sir. No, sir. Are you going to exit the vehicle or are we going to jail today? I would like to continue traveling. No, you can't sir. do this to me under the Constitution. Out of the car. You swore an oath to the Constitution. I think you know you did, man. I'm not trying to give no, you a hard time. I'm not giving up my rights. I'm not giving up my rights, man. So you're not going to exit the vehicle? I like to continue traveling. I'm a free American. I'm a free American. I like to continue traveling, sir. I haven't hurt anybody. That isn't a lawful order because I haven't broken any land code of the Supreme Court or the Constitution. There's also a lien on this for $100 million, too. So if you touch any of my property like you already stole my plate, there's going to be a, a heavy lawsuit. Uh, you're saying that you owe a hundred million dollars because that's basically what a lien on your vehicle would mean. So either you don't know what the hell's going on or you owe a lot of money. But you know what I'm willing to bet? I'm willing to bet that just like everything else, you have no idea what you're talking about because you are a complete soft-hard moron who's been drinking way too much lead paint and it's been melting your brain. What's your badge number, buddy? What's your badge number? Sigmund. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, you hear that? that? was my supervisor. No, I couldn't hear. That's fine. He said you got to exit the car. You can talk to him after this about how upset you are. You can file a complaint. That's I'm not fine. upset at all. I understand you guys, I comprehend you guys aren't educated in constitutional law, but you guys took an oath to That's it. That's fine. I'd love for you to educate me, but I need you to exit the car. I can't let y'all steal my property, man. I need my property. Listen to me. I'm not stealing it, okay? We have two ways we can do this. 
I can store the car, which means it goes to the lot and it's impounded until you get it back. Listen, look at me when I talk to you, please. So I know you're understanding. The other option I don't understand, I comprehend. You do realize that understanding and comprehending are uh, synonyms of each other, don't you? Uh, of course not. You probably don't understand that either, considering that synonym is a multisyllable word. Listen, the other option is I can just tow it and not impound it, which means you can literally go get it back in five minutes, but it can't be on the roadway. So. So the other option look, is I don't put it on the impound list and you can go get it. If you step out of the car right now, I won't impound it. Otherwise, it's going to get impounded and it's going to be 10 times harder for you to get. I, can I don't want to make your life harder. So please don't make mine harder. Please just step out of the car. I conditionally accept your offer upon proof that you can show me that Dulles versus Kent 1958 did not say that the people have the right to travel. In Dulles versus Kent, the uh, plaintiff was denied the right to a passport to travel to Europe because he was a member of the Communist Party, and the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the plaintiff's right to travel, considering that the party affiliation did not matter in the right to travel argument. But this has nothing to do with your situation, dude. Because the Tenth Amendment grants the states the right to uh, create traffic laws to regulate those who have driver's licenses so they can make sure that everything's kosher on the road so everybody's insured, so everybody knows what they're doing, and everybody's covered. So once again, you can't exactly get away from the kitty table and stop eating those crowns, can you? This has nothing to do with traveling, sir. This has to do with the vehicle. I'm this not, isn't a listen, vehicle. This is an automobile. Fine, the automobile. It has to have insurance when it's driving. It's, I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Okay, sir. It was moving on the highway. Regardless. It's traveling. Fine, when it's traveling. When it's traveling, it has to have insurance. That's not what Supreme listen Court says, listen. sir. Are you going to step out? And am I going to be nice and not impound it? Or am I impounding it and putting a boot on it to where you can't get it back? I would like to continue traveling, man. Not I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not right. hurting you. I'm not violating any constitutional law that you okay, swore sir. oath to. I'm not contracted with. I'm not contracted with the state of Maryland. I do not accept any contracts. I just want to continue traveling so I can get to work and operate in Carmos at work. That's all I want to do. Right. right now, you guys are operate. You guys are hindering That's me fine. traveling That's to work. Right. I think you just destroyed your own argument because if you go ahead and use your uh, petty little Black Laws Dictionary uh, misdefinitions that you softards like to use, uh, you are traveling to your uh, work location, which means you're going to be operating in commerce anyway because you are essentially exchanging your available time to convert it into money so you can uh, engage in more commerce. So you are essentially using your vehicle for commerce because you have to go to work. Courts are for, right? We can figure it out. I don't even want to go. I don't got time to go to court. Okay, I got to work. You don't have to go to court already. So the option is you step out of the car. I don't impound it. And you're going to be free to go after this. Or... I take you to jail, I impound the car, and you can't get it back. I like so, to continue traveling, sir. That's all I want to do. I'm telling you, that's not an option. I like to exercise my Fourth Amendment right. Is that your final offer? I like to exercise my Fourth okay, Amendment right. I'm more officers out here, and we're going to take you out of the car. How does that sound? I like to exercise my Fourth Amendment, and I think you took an oath to it. So right, I don't sir. think you want to violate you your oath. I would like to continue traveling to exercise my Fourth Amendment. I don't want any more troopers. I would like to exercise my Fourth Amendment right. Trying to steal my goddamn automobile. Eighteen United States Code Title Two Forty Two Deprivation of Rights Under Color of Law. Still not going to work, you dumbass, considering that has everything to do with civil rights and not traffic laws. And so far, they have pretty much treated you as about equally as they can.
step out of the car? I'd like to exercise my First Amendment. You can give me my information back, please. I'll give it back out here. Step outside the car, I'll give you this information. You can just put it right here through the window, sir. I'm going to protect my Fourth Amendment right. Oh, You're a good police officer, all right? I know you. I can oh, see it in your eyes. Officer. You just said you were. Okay. You're a good trooper. I can see it in your eyes. I know you want to uphold your oath. Somebody's telling you to do this, all oh, right? Sir. Here is your passport card. I wrote 17. Listen to me. I'm listening. Yeah, you documents. got my attention. Three of them are must appear to carry jail time. You're going to have to go to court for them. The other ones are payable. You can pay them, go to court, set up for a payment plan, or go to court guilty or not guilty. There's also going to be an application for charges for a failure to obey a lawful order. You're going to get a warrant for your arrest if you don't come to court when requested to do so. You can take those. You are not free to go. You cannot drive. You cannot travel. If you do so again, you may be subject to arrest. Can I? I need my plate back too. Y'all stole my no, plate. That's being seized as evidence. You're not getting that back. You st no, so you're, you're so you're stealing my property then? All right, I don't accept the ticket. I don't accept any contracts. I don't accept. I know you won't take it, but that way it's affixed to your vehicle, so you have it. He put the all the tickets and stuff outside my automobile. Am I correct in assuming you are no longer a U.S. citizen? I'm a national, sir. Passport ID cards for U.S. citizens. No, 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 no. I'm a national. I am a national. You stole my passport card, too. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I just need my card and I, can, I need my license plate in my car so I can go, buddy. That's all I need. What's on your U.S. passport ID card? What do you mean? What's that name on the card? That's an all caps le ends legis, legal fiction. So are you a U.S. citizen? I'm a national. Okay, so you are possessing a federal document that identifies you as a U.S. citizen. I'm a national. So you know what a U.S. To return to the federal government. You don't get that back. Do you know what the U.S. nationals are? Yes. That is covered in the Constitution. It's actually in the DS-11 form. You want me to show it to you? I got it I right here. I do not. I'm a provost marshal. I don't need to look at your forms. You seem really intelligent, so you know what a national is. And according to the DS-11, it is attacked on with non-citizen U.S. national. So basically, you are saying you are not a resident of the United States, nor are you a citizen of the United States. So what country do you belong to so we can send you back there and you can play these little semantic word games with the uh, traffic enforcers in those countries? I know you're intelligent and I know I need my ID card. And you sound like you know what you're talking about, but I know what a national you, is. You can, get, you can get your ID card back from the federal government when you can prove you've no longer renounced your U.S. citizenship. I'm a national, sir. Okay. Later in the void. I told you, you get your ID back when you prove the federal government you haven't you renounced your U.S. citizenship. I'm a national. I told you this, man. Yeah, I'm a national. Over that. Yeah. Also, you can't drive away because you're uninsured. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. I just need my plate and you, I need my card so I can continue traveling. You understand a right and a privilege, correct? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Driving is a, is a privilege. Driving if I was driving, y'all would have me nailed to the Traveling wall. Traveling is a right. Yeah. Your right to travel will not be infringed. Yes. However, your right to travel, your right to drive in a car is uh, not in a, permitted. In a vehicle, so, yes. If you want, you can get out and walk towards Liberty and keep traveling. I would like to travel right here, as per this right here. This is I what the driver... I can't see that. You're going to have to <laughs> hand it out to me. <laughs> okay. I need the whole binder, please. This is good. Oh, shoot. Hey, you don't need that. This, no. this is what a driver is right here. Feel I'm not employed. I'm not operating to exit the vehicle and walk down to Liberty. But you will not be driving, understand? Absolutely. I don't understand, though. One frozen wasteland later. I just want my ID card. Huh? I can't hear you. I just want my ID card and my plate so I can go. But you renounce your U.S. citizenship. I'm a national. It is on the DS-11 form, U.S. nationals and are U.S. citizens. Are you renouncing I am a citizen? national. I am not a U.S. citizen. It says right on the DS-11 form, if you are a national or a U.S. citizen, you can get a passport and a passport card. That's how I got it. 
your reading and comprehension skills are quite pathetic, dude, considering that it says non-U.S. national right there, which basically means you are not a U.S. citizen, bozo. So if you have declared yourself not a citizen of this country and have officially done so, you are not eligible for all the rights and privileges of this country. I'm an American, sir. I'm not a U.S. citizen. I'm not Chateau slavery property, okay? I'm a free American. That's why I'm protected by the Bill of Rights. I just want my card back, and I just want my plate that I created so I can go. That's all I want. All time registration document carries up to a year in jail. So that plate is not even registered with the state of Maryland, so y'all don't have jurisdiction to even take it. That is my personal property, okay? I, I want it back so I can continue traveling. So you're keeping my personal property. I don't even want the side. I'm not accepting the contracts, man. But I'm not accepting the contracts. I just want my, my card back, sir. Give me my card and my plate, please. That's all I want. You're not going to buy it. You're going to keep my property. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm seizing your property. Yeah. You're, you're, so you're violating my Fourth Amendment? Well, I have probable cause to do so, so I'm not violating it. Oh, you definitely are. It says in the Fourth Amendment, I have the right to my pre freedom and papers. So I need that back so I can go. Well, since you are saying that you are not a U.S. citizen, then the Fourth Amendment doesn't apply to you. So do you want to change your mind on the fact that you are a U.S. citizen or are you still not a U.S. citizen? Please just give me my stuff so I can go, man. We've been here for almost an hour. I'm late to work. I might get fired over this. Huh? What do you say? One season later. I, no, I don't want Listen, to, man. I just want. To... If you don't come to court, then a warrant's been issued for your arrest. I'm gonna knock on your door and arrest you. You can't issue a warrant for my arrest because I'm not a legal fiction. I'm a man. <laughs> Can I have my plate back, please? You're not getting the plate back. Why are you stealing my plate, man? It's contraband. Huh? Other than you're free to go for this interaction, but you can't drive or travel or move the vehicle in any way. So you violate my right to travel? Uh, no, you can walk. You just can't drive. I can travel how I see fit. Took my plate. I got another one. I'm not worried about that. I'm more so concerned with the fact that these motherfuckers literally took my shit. And now they gone. These bitches. I holler at y'all. Peace. Disappointed! Yeah, I'm quite disappointed that the officers just left him there with no tag and the fact that he's uh, more than willing to drive away without any insurance. I mean, he thinks he's above the law anyway, so why should he even bother paying attention to that little detail? But perhaps there is a glimmer of hope in this dark tunnel because they at least have his information so they can... uh file a warrant on him just in case he doesn't show up to court. So maybe one of these days we'll see him in court trying to spout off all this garbage to a judge and see how far it doesn't get him. So I will keep an eye on his channel and see if anything pops up, but he hasn't posted anything since he uh, posted this video about a month ago. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.